everybody. Thanks for stopping by. I'm going to be making up some meatloaf today. You know, I grew up on meatloaf. I absolutely love the way my mom and dad did this. So I'm going to take their recipe, add a few things of my own, and something I learned from others, and give this dish a try in the crock pot slow cooker. A lot of people don't like meatloaf. They think it takes too long and it usually comes out dry. But I guarantee you guys give this a try. It'll be moist every time. So let's get started. In a hot pan, just add some extra virgin olive oil, and we're going to sweat a sweet onion. Throw some bell peppers in there, and just give it a mix. Add some salt to help the onion sweat, and in the meantime, take a piece of bread and add some milk. Just give it a stir. This is going to help to moisten our meat while it's cooking. Next, just add some ground chuck 80-20 to a bowl. About a pound and a half. Give it an egg. Throw in your onion bell pepper mixture, some granulated garlic, granulated onion, and some Italian seasoning. Next, some Lipton soup mix, and some seasoned Italian breadcrumbs, some Worcestershire sauce, some ground black pepper, and some salt. Now it's time to add our milk soaked bread. Then just get your hands down there and give it a mix. Try not to overwork it, you just want to get them all incorporated. Then form it into a loaf. What we're going to do is we're going to put this in the fridge to let it set for about 30 minutes. And while my meat's in the fridge, I'm going to make my topping glaze. Just add some ketchup to Oh, two or three tablespoons of brown sugar. Give it a shot of mustard and just give that a mix. And set that aside. Once your meat comes out of the fridge, go ahead and stick it in your slow cooker, form it into a loaf, then start adding your brown sugar ketchup glaze. And make sure you coat it on all sides. Then I'm going to take some Parmigiano Reggiano cheese and just spread that across the top. Then some fresh chopped parsley. And to help protect it, I'm going to lay some bacon slices over that so the top doesn't tend to burn. Put a cover over it. Then just set it to low for six to eight hours. After seven hours, here you go, guys. Our meatloaf is done. It's moist, it's tender. It's going to taste so good, I can't wait to give it a bite. Give this recipe a try, guys. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. I tell you what, guys, give this a try. I guarantee you'll love it. Till next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye, y'all.